Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Secretary, for being here today. Uh, I think the reason why we're all concerned about funding uh, to our state parks is because we all hear from our constituents the importance of our parks. Uh, they're wonderful. Uh, they're award-winning. Uh, they enable young families the opportunity to go recreate throughout the state. It lets them vacation. It lets them get away from that, their, their daily grind at a very reasonable cost, uh, a cost that they can all fit in their budget. And we hear that all the time from our constituents. Uh, I'm also concerned about the aging infrastructure, especially in the Northeast where the region that I represent, uh, many of the parks were built by the CCC boys back during the Great Depression. Uh, and their work is wonderful. Uh, the beautiful stone bridges that are there, uh, the stone dams and many of the roads that were built were built by the CCC boys and they still have an uh, annual celebration picnic uh, for those efforts. But over that time, and we talked about the weather situation as far as uh, the, the concerns that we've had with the weather uh, during that time, and the usage, uh, we realize that you've got this aging infrastructure problem. Uh, when we look at, at many of these funds, we're trying to get our arms around what you need to operate your park as far as short-term goals, but we also understand that you, you really operate communities. And when you have communities with large number of people, you've got roads, you've got high hazard dams, because typically many of your parks have a lake or ponds or streams. You're building sewer lines, you're building water lines, you're building sewer systems. Um, is there any way you can, one, tell us some of your short-term challenges as well as your long-term challenges and the goals that you have, as well as where do you think that we need to give you the money to do this uh, effectively? In other words, I'm looking here at the oil and gas lease fund. Uh, the royalties uh, from, from the oil and gas lease fund can be used for conservation, recreation, dams, and flood control purposes. Uh, we're trying to work with monies in Growing Greener. Are we using Growing Greener? Uh, we've talked about the Keystone Fund today at Nauseam. Uh, I actually was hunting this year and talked to a forester and saw a new trail that was being built, and he mentioned it was a uh, monies from snowmobile registration. So there's a, there, there are pools here, and I appreciate the challenge that you have. I mean, I, I think you've said that here today, and I think we understand the constraints you're under. But, but where can we help you as far as to find funding sources that really are helpful for you to manage your DCNR. Well, Representative Pfeiffer, we, we, I guarantee that we will be maintaining the parks as best possible. Our staff have been doing that. Um, and as, as you've seen over the last several years, there has been a reduction in funding. But we've made do with what we have available as far as our funding. We prioritize. We look at what needs to be done. Uh, but, but above all, the health and safety of the, the visitors to our parks and forest systems comes first. So we will constantly look at what the need is and address the need in any way we need to. We, we will definitely put funds where we have to and we will, we will look at our funds that we do have available. That's as best as we can do. But as far as long-term, large projects, dam maintenance, bridges, we're talking million-dollar projects. I mean, where, where do you fund those projects? I mean, is there a source that, that, that you have used extensively since you've been here uh, to, fund these, to fund this infrastructure need? Uh, in the past and currently, we currently have a list of, of projects that we do. We have received funding from ca as, as capital projects. Correct. And we'll be looking to do that in the future also for those large type of projects, dams, and so forth. But, but where does that come from? Does that come from the Keystone Fund? Does it come from Growing Greener? Does it come from uh, the Oil and Gas Lease Fund? Uh, the capital budget. Capital budget. Could you tell me about, I mean, and again, when we originally leased out the oil and gas, uh, that came to our general fund. But my understanding is that the royalties from these leases do come to the oil and gas fund. I mean, do you have the ability to access those funds? We are authorized as to the amount that we can access from that fund on a year-to-year -year basis. Okay. But uh, with the leasing of state forests, isn't there a revenue stream there that you can use for these projects? No, the revenue goes into oil and gas lease fund. Can that help your infrastructure needs, I guess is what I'm saying. I mean, if, if you had a wish list today and, and a wish list of projects, that you needed completed. 
where would you take the money? Would you, would you ha do you have the access to Growing Greener? I mean, do you have the access to the Keystone monies, and do you have the access to the oil and gas, oil and gas lease funds? Uh, there are line items and transfers from the oil and gas lease fund to augment several of our bureaus and work we do. So you are being funded by these, by these funds? Correct. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.